Hi, guys. So this is the story about why the cops were looking for me. For those of you that don't know, uh, a number of days ago, I posted on Twitter that I found out that the cops were looking for me. So there's a really funny story behind this, and I'm very fortunate for how it ended up turning out. But... Essentially, I was asked to attend and help out with the QD Cinderella charity gala that took place. The theme of which was jungle. So in order for me to get an outfit for that, I had to think outside the box. I was like, what would be good? What would be great? And I thought, well, I could be a jungle tour guide, an explorer of sorts. But because it's a gala, it has to be fancier. So I bought this shirt, didn't have matching pants, and I bought a sport coat to go with it for the fancified aspect. So in order to complete the ensemble, I needed to find pants that matched or at least closely matched the shirt that I got. To do this, you know, I had to go shopping. So I grab my shirt, I grab my pack, I ride to the closest mall, and I start shopping. But before I go in, I'm like, huh, I'm gonna be walking around with this shirt that I'm trying to hold up next to pants and try and match. So what would be suspicious about that? Well, walking out of a store holding a shirt could be suspicious and thought of stealing. So I'm like, ah, here's the idea. I'll have the shirt in my hand at all times. So if they decide they wanna call me out and they call security and they check the cameras or whatnot, they'll see that I walked in with the shirt and also walked out with it. Now, for those of you that don't know, I don't have a car, so I rode my bike to it. And in order to travel with some stuff, I had a backpack and I attached my helmet to my backpack. So I'm walking around the store with a backpack, which I never took off my back nor opened, and I'm walking around with this shirt. And I'm like, I could be thought of as suspicious. So I'm gonna take every precaution imaginable. I go to some of the bigger department stores first and I'm browsing and I'm checking and you know, oh, there's something that's close, but I wanna find the closest match imaginable. There were some jeans, but jeans just didn't match the ensemble. So I went to the next one. They had nothing. I start going to the smaller stores, the ones that are brand named, you know, like Express, Polo, um, and then even going to like some of the stores that have lesser known things or other brands and different things that could be outside the box thinking for having pants that would go perfect for this dressed up jungle guide outfit that I had in mind. Express has one that's really, really close, but I don't see any of the sizes on my shelf. And I talked to the guy and I said, I'm just now starting looking, so I'll be back. And so I go to some of the other stores and I go to Polo and I go in there and I look around and they have something that's really close and I'm like, oh my God, do you guys have this size? No. So I talked to the guy for a while and I left and I go back to, uh, go back to shopping and looking around at the other stores. So this is when I went to the Dick's Sporting Goods, the Targets, the things like that. Now, when I walked outside of the store, I didn't know which direction I wanted to go because the other stores I wanted to go to were at different parts of the mall. So I looked to my left, I looked to my right, I thought for a second, started walking to my right and then turned around and then walked to my left. Ends up, nobody else has matching stuff. So I'm down to these two stores. I'm looking at Express and I'm looking at Polo. And so I go back to Express and I look for the associate I had worked with because none of the sizes on the shelf were correct. And I go, uh, maybe I'll look around some more. So I walk to some of the other stores. I go to like Abercrombie and Finch. Uh, I go to Old Navy. I found a Gap, but for whatever reason, the Gap only had women's clothing. Like the places that I really didn't think would have anything that would fit the ensemble or even close to matching, I checked real quick. So I walk back to Express. And at this point, the associate is back in the area that I was shopping. And I ask him if they have my size because I didn't find it on the shelf. And so he's like, oh yeah, let me check in the back. Bam, lucky they have it. I try it on, weirdly, because I've been really working out and taking care of myself. They were a little too big. I go back to the shelf and I try on the size smaller that was just readily available on the shelf and I go, no, 
I can fit in these. That other store over at Polo had this, this size, but I didn't believe I could fit in it. So I run back to Polo. And as I walk in, shirt in hand the whole time, mind you, the associate goes, hey, did you steal something? And I go, no. I mean, I've had this shirt in my hand the whole time. You can check my backpack and I open my backpack and I show it to them and they're like, oh my God, I called the cops and they're out looking for you. Mind you, the last time I was in the store was an hour ago. So I've been wandering for over an hour since they apparently had called the cops and told them I had stolen something and were looking for me. So without trying and looking very suspicious Vicious and like I stand out massively both with my hair the shirt in hand the backpack the helmet like I am the easiest person to differentiate in a crowd by far and somehow I skated past all these cops that were looking for me tell you what I should add ninja to my resume anyway I end up talking to the associates for a while and they tell me that as I walked out this store, there were six cops outside. Now, if you go back to what I was saying earlier, I paused outside when I walked out of this store to think about which direction I wanted to go. I paused and I walked one direction, then I decided to go the other way to go to a different store. I didn't steal anything and no cop stopped me. But because the shirt was so closely colored to the pants that I was looking at and had talked to the associate about previously, they thought I had just grabbed the pants and left. Which also doesn't make sense because when I was talking to the associate, they didn't even have the size that would fit me. So why would I take pants that wouldn't fit? Also, why would I take pants and not just like stuff a whole bunch of stuff in my backpack? Because that would be more hidden and less suspicious walking out because I've had the backpack on my back the whole time. <laughs> this is what's going through my mind. But in my normal nature, I'm like, no, you're totally good. She's like, I'm going to go call the cops and let them know to stop searching for you. And it was a misunderstanding. We thought you would come back to return the item. I'm so sorry. And so I'm looking on the shelf and I'm seeing, uh, trying to find the size <clears throat> that, you know, fit at the other store. And I asked to try it on. I go in the back and I try it on. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. But as I'm doing all of this, I hear her talking and being like, I am so embarrassed. Like he didn't steal anything. And then he was like the nicest and most understanding person. I was just sitting there smiling. And it's like, I've worked retail. You're doing your job. You can't chase me down. It's a danger. You know, there's, there's a whole bunch of things involved in it. And it feels awful when you just think and s think you saw somebody steal something and you you're helpless and you can't do anything about it. And then your upper management gets mad at you because of the shrinkage at the store and the loss of money and stuff like that. I, I totally get it. But so I ended up talking with both of the staff members and mind you, the one that thought I stole something and had initiated everything was not the one I had talked to. Um, but she was so incredibly like apologetic. They both were, I ended up talking with them for a while. I wanted to ease their mind and make sure that they, they understood that it was not a big deal. Um, but it was just really funny. And I even joked with them, like if I had gotten arrested, it would be a great story that I could tell everyone, but it still ends up being this funny story. Um, so unfortunately I didn't buy the pants at that store. I went back to Express and I ended up buying a number of different items. Um, some of which you might've seen uh, in the pictures I posted on Instagram recently uh, when I went to the uh, Starfield and Rockstar Energy party, um, which was really, really fun by the way. I end up, getting the pants at Express and a few other items. And I leave and I just go on my bike and I ride home. But on the way home, I was just thinking to myself and I'm calling, I called a friend and I was telling them the story while I was riding my way home. And a coyote in the middle of LA, like not near the mountains, not near anything, just like very city. And it's a large looking healthy coyote, runs out in front of me and stops right in front of my bike while I'm still riding. So I stop and it just stares at me and then runs across the street. It just was a weird fucking day. And it's so funny to me looking back on it, but I wanted to tell you guys the story of why the cops were looking for me.
So I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you guys enjoyed QD Cinderella's charity gala. I don't know if they're still raising funds, but if you want to go watch that stream, uh, I got hypnotized during it. Oh, Your statue. oh that's not good. Get out of <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun. They raised a significant amount of money to help save the planet, uh, benefiting a number of amazing organizations. Um, but yeah, that's the story of why and how I almost maybe sort of could have been arrested. But yeah, the cops were looking for me for a good portion of my shopping experience, <laughs> trying to find pants that match the shirt for my charity gala outfit. So... Thank you guys so much for listening to this story. I hope you enjoyed every aspect of it. And I'll see you in the next video or on the podcast or wherever else. Go follow me on Instagram. Go check out the podcast. Go my favorite sports team. And um, yeah, smile always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.